haven't seen Jackson in over a year. His friend said he went to that old hotel to look for a souvenir or something. That was the last time anybody ever heard from him. Every time we're about to let go, something happens, something strange. It just rips our hearts out. It started with text messages, randomly, in the middle of the night. I told the police, they looked into it and they found, they found they were coming from inside the hotel. My husband has watched the video of Jackson lost inside the hotel, but I can't bring myself to sit through it. I know he used his phone to try and get help. Phone calls and video messages, texts. If you get this message, please send help to the Abaddon Hotel. I can't. Oh my God. I saw them all. They're all here. They're all still here. I'm... Please! Somebody hear me! Somebody! They want me to go with them. They want me to go with them. Please! Please, someone help! They have no eyes. Sorry I ever came here. I don't know where they all came from. It was... They're all in the dining room. They're all in hell. They're all with him. Mom, I'm sorry, I didn't know. About two weeks later. I got an email from Jackson's account. I didn't want to open it. I mean, it could be from him, right? And I opened it. And I watched the video. Oh, thank God. God, I wish I hadn't. It was an empty room. And then I could hear Jackson's screams. And there was something else. There was this, this piano playing somewhere. And, and I knew immediately I'd heard that tune before. It was so familiar. We've heard that piano tune before in the Hell House documentary, but when the Mallets say that they've heard it, they're referring to long before Hell House. Go fish. Anyone got an orca? I got an orca. orca. Oh, okay. Hey! I saw you! You're cheating! I'm not cheating! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. Mom, are you getting this? Guys, calm down. Jackson's asleep. Come oh on. Oh my god. So I'm <sighs> Play nicely. Come on. Fish? Got a crab? Hey guys, do you hear that? Where's that coming from? Jackson. 
Jackson, I thought you were in bed. The hotel opens in 2009. Tell everyone. What? What hotel? We turned out the lights. Hey, Jackson, are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? What were you talking about? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Later on, when I played it back with my husband, we heard it. There's another voice in that room. It's almost, almost like it could hear my question and was telling Jackson what to say. This hotel has a long history of eerie and unexplained events being caught on camera. Even our own cameras weren't immune to catching something spooky when we rehearsed this very segment. Okay, am I close in enough? How's my frame? <clears throat> Good? Gary, what? years since the controversial release of the Hell House documentary, and many of us still have questions. The biggest question on everyone's mind, was it real, or was it an elaborate hoax planned by the documentarians to sell the film? Here today we have a full panel to discuss this question. Arnold Tesselman, who worked for the Rockland County Magistrate's Office at the time of the Hell House incident seven years ago, and Mitchell Cavanaugh the Mitchell Kavanaugh from the documentary, allegedly the only surviving member of the film. We'll get into that. And lastly, we have Brock Davies, a medium and psychic who you may know from his work on several missing persons cases that gained nationwide attention. Thanks for having me on, Susie. Somehow I knew you'd call. <laughs> Be sure to check out Brock Davies from beyond, coming next fall. To Thank this. you, Brock. <laughs> So, why don't we start? Susie, do you mind if I start with a comment and a question? Um, sure. Thanks. You're a dick. Comment. And my question is why? Look at this. Camera's up. Who is that? That's Mitchell Kavanaugh from the Hell House documentary. That's who we need to get us into the Abaddon. Well, from what we saw, getting in isn't the problem. It's finding our way to the basement and finding our way out. Well, exactly. He edited all the Hell House footage. He must know the hotel inside out. Maybe. Arnold here has served me with a lawsuit trying to get my film off the market so no one can see it. Mr. Tesselman, can you discuss the lawsuit against Mitchell? I'm not able to discuss details about pending litigation, but what I can tell you is that his fake movie has caused harm to the town of Abaddon. Cold cases in old hotels, it's not really our thing. We put a state senator in jail. Yeah, and that was a really good thing, but now they're saying this place is haunted. Oh, come on, Molly. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts. Look, we're going to the Abaddon. That's final. You two track down Mitchell today and get him to meet me. Gotcha. What are you doing? I'm calling into this show. This guy is such a fucking liar. <laughs> Hell House was a tragedy and we still mourn the loss of life. What I'm talking about is faking everything about the hotel's owner, the supposed Hell House tapes. Putting that quack author Robert Lyons on camera, faking a full scene with your own crew in a room where you knew that people could... You're talking about Diane Graves, the missing documentarian who was last seen on her own video inside the hotel. That is exactly what I am talking about. Excuse me. Diane is dead. Okay? Jonathan is dead. They died inside that hotel. Can we not use that word? I'm, I'm sorry. Please. Everyone knows that no one died outside of the Halloween malfunction. You're still going with malfunction? Like like a prop fell from the ceiling and killed 15 people? I'd actually like to jump in on that point. I, too, would like to know how the police arrived at calling it a malfunction. The details of that night are still not allowed to be discussed publicly. Of course. But from everything that I've seen, 
I can guarantee the public that the hotel is safe and is not responsible in any way for the tragedy nor anything else that people are alleging happened since. If it's so safe, why does the town keep police cars outside at all times, making sure no one goes in? We were here like yesterday while well, you guys were all filming that like, goofy TV thing, and we deduced that there is a 10 minute window and we can get in. Badass, right? Why do they guard it so much if they're saying there's nothing wrong with it? Yeah, man, like... Well, it's not just the Hell House incident or Diane. There are also two teenagers from the nearby area that have disappeared. And people think that has something to do with the hotel? Well, of course, anything could have happened to them. But one poor kid streamed himself on Facebook while breaking in, and it was the last time he was ever seen. Are you serious? When did that happen? I mean, I'm sure Jessica knows all of this. Dude, she doesn't even believe in ghosts. Neither did Diane. I'd like to point out, and I think it's important to clarify for the audience, that these poor individuals who have gone missing were amateur ghost hunters. These were not trained professional paranormal investigators. Thank you, Brock. And let's go ahead and show our viewers the Facebook Live video for those who haven't yet seen it. Go ahead. It, uh, it looks like nobody's here right now. Um, should be able to get in and out without uh, being seen. All right. To my fans, love you all very much. I told you I would do this. <laughs> yeah, yeet, hey. All right. You can just check out my channel. Um, the old warehouse video, all kinds of stuff like that. The abandoned mine shaft just two weeks ago. All right. No, uh, Rachel, I actually, uh, I'm wearing boxer briefs right now. Um, uh, I, I'm not stopping. I, you just gotta admit, that was, that was, that was pretty weird. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'll go now. What's strange about that video is that it never cut. It kept on streaming through the night in that exact position until the phone's battery ran out at dusk. Police arrived later that day at the pleading from friends and family of Cameron, but they were not able to find a thing, not a trace of Cameron. Well, I'm sorry. This video doesn't show anything happening to Cameron. I think you want people to think there's something dangerous inside so that you can sell more DVDs. All you've done is given this kid the idea to sneak into private property. Try to prove it's all a hoax. Prove it. There's just too much you can't explain and you know it. Like, where the hell do you think I've been hiding Diane all these years? Where, I just kept her in my basement? Where she, she has family. You really think she would abandon them just to sell her documentary? Well, I have to ask, Ben Arnold, if you do think everything was a hoax, what do you conclude happened to those people who died on opening night at Hell House? Well, we know that Alex probably killed himself. Tony was in the basement and was probably killed during the mass panic to get out after the malfunction of some sort. If this Mac were as smart as he claimed to be, then he would have killed himself too because he was going to wake up to a pile of lawsuits for negligent homicide. We know now that Sarah 
was the smart one. She disappeared. Sarah wasn't afraid of lawsuits. She wasn't even... <sighs> she used Diane. How do you mean? Look, everything about the hotel goes back to Andrew Tully. Andrew Tully, the hotel's owner who was accused of performing satanic rituals in the basement and also accused of being involved with some guest disappearances. Yeah, the problem is Andrew Tully is dead. He hanged himself after the hotel closed back in the 80s. None, none of the evil cult activity was actually ever proven. But when should I ask my question? Wait till you hear me bring up the basement. So you'll say it's in the basement and I'll ask something like, but how do you know that it's in the basement? Right. On me. Hi, I'm Jessica Fox. It's October 7th and uh, I'm here with Molly Reynolds and David Morris. Yo. And with us is Mitchell Kavanaugh. What are you guys? Uh, some sort of a, an investigative outfit? Like a boutique vice or 60 Minutes? Yeah, but unlike other journalists, we film every part of our story from inception through publication. And we're totally transparent. Everything is released once we publish. Jess has me record everything. I don't stop rolling. I go to the can, this goes with me. That's great, but I... The hotel is like a maze, and of course, that's not by accident. Tully designed it based on H.H. H. Holmes's murder house, I've heard. So he made it as hard as possible to find your way out in the middle of the night. And we need to find our way to the basement. But how do you know what we're looking for is in the basement? It's a good question, Molly. Everything that Tully wanted to keep a secret was kept in the basement. So we're talking about proof of cult activity and information about the missing guests. It's all there. You had no proof when you called into the show. You just knew how to find it. And that's what you needed me for, right? Right. How do you even know that this supposed evidence exists? Because of one flipped witness. That's all it took, and I have the transcript. Who flipped and, and why don't we know about it? Because once Tully and his cult members committed suicide, the whole thing got dropped. Every, it just disappeared. But this guy... Patrick Carmichael, he worked at the hotel. He was a member of Tully's cult, but he was arrested on a separate assault charge, so he missed the suicide party. He says that Tully kept video footage and photos of what was happening at the hotel, and then here he says it was kept in the fridges. What fridges? Nobody searched the fridges? Yes, but what if they assumed he meant the kitchen fridges? The cops only searched the kitchen fridges, but not the one in the basement, which I think, with all due respect, it is a, a ridiculous theory. Uh, we're dealing with a police force that hasn't been able to solve a series of disappearances for decades in the same place. Okay, so what is the plan? We go into the basement, search the fridge, and find the evidence. Yes. I don't believe in ghost stories, but I don't want to take any chances with you guys. We're going to be in and out in an hour, tops. If Mitchell is with us, will be even quicker because he knows the hotel better than anyone. That's a really fucked up place to try to break into. You know that, right? Yes. Mitchell, we absolutely know that. The evidence is there. I know it. It has to be. Okay, and if we find it, then maybe we will find out what happened to Diane. Finally. Don't you want to know? We can't do this without you. We will we need to turn that off, please. Jess? Yep, turn off. I'd like to share with our audience some of the stranger, unexplained occurrences that have been recorded since the documentary aired in what many refer to as the Hell House fallout. So people believe that this stuff is real. Well... Nothing's been proven either way yet. Look, as long as that hotel emits this kinetic spiritual energy, people are going to continue to be drawn to it, which is precisely why someone like me is invaluable to the investigation. I need to be allowed in that hotel. I need access to it. Let's hold off on commenting until we've seen the footage. Go ahead.
All right, Ben. Challenge accepted. I'm going in. All right. Coast is clear. No cops. Holy shit. All right, I think that's far enough. Challenge completed. Get ready to pay up, Ben. Hey guys, so we just got back from our fashion show, um, was kind of disappointed. Uh, we came from such a far away place just to see a thrift shop. Um, I was expecting some sort of high-end, awesome, amazing fashion line. Hey, hey babe, sorry. There, is that girl hitchhiking? Babe, who hitchhikes anymore? I don't know, come on, it's so shitty out. Let's pick her up. Fine, okay. Honey, do you need a ride? <laughs> do you think we should do this? Yeah, it's so cold out. I mean, come on, so she might. Oh, well, hey. Um... Hi, sweetie. How's it going? Uh, where are you headed, sweetie? The Abaddon Hotel. The Abaddon Hotel, honey. That place has been closed for a few years now. I checked in already. Okay, when did you check in? October 8th. It's... it's September 30th. <laughs> Let's just get her home, okay? Fine, we're going. I'm sorry, sweet, are you okay? You just... you look a little pale. Do you... do you need some water or something? Or... Not so talkative, huh? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't be either if I was stuck on the side of the road in the cold. I think this is it. It's all boarded up. I know. This doesn't look right. Miss, is this where you wanted us to drop you? It, does this place look familiar to you? Uh, uh, hold on. Wait, Miss, hold on. Wait, please uh, don't get out of the car. This place is boarded up. I'm not letting I know. Go. Hold on. Babe, wait. Hold on. Miss? Hold on. Miss, do you need some help or something? God, she went in. Adam, I don't like this. I know. Come on. I don't think she knows where she is. I know. She's... Sweetie. Hello? Do you have a, a flashlight or something? Uh, yeah. Or on your phone? Or... Hello? Oh, there she is. Honey, can you... Adam, I don't think she... It's fine. I think this is her. Just hold on. Miss? Hello? Sweetie, we just want to help. Oh, oh my god. Miss? Adam, I don't think we need so to be okay. here anymore. There's something wrong with her. Honey, I know it's listen, not worth it. Listen, you shouldn't be down here, okay? Just, just come up with us and we'll help you. Whatever, whatever you need, okay? So cold down here. Just, oh fuck! Oh my god! Get out of here, go! Go, 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 go,
I like you. <laughs> and so because I like him, now I'm okay with the tattoos. You say this so. like it's an accomplishment. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, I've never dated a freaking werewolf well, before. Well, no, <laughs> I, I used to hate them, and now yeah. I don't. She comes from the town, from the movie Footloose. It's real. Well, okay. uh, kind of a little. We go to meet her, her parents, right? <laughs> and she grabs me, she's like, oh, just don't dance. I did not say that. Wait, no, what? What did she no, say? No, I dancing. did not say don't dance. No. No. I said, don't dance. Be weird. Yeah. I, you can don't always be weird. be weird in front <laughs> of me. Absolutely. Okay. But in front of my parents? I feel about if weird. Oh, no. Coming on. Oh, the oh, dance floor. Okay. Well, it's okay. The dance commander <laughs> coming out. The man's really happening. I know. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Jess, you can do whatever you want with that because I don't care. Oh, I'm not turning it off. <laughs> I'm going to use this. Until tomorrow. Uh huh. All right. We're going to regret this. You okay? What? Yeah. Yeah. You look kind of sad. Oh, I'm fine. What are you hoping to get out of this? What, are you just <laughs> looking to get your niche company on the map? Or oh, what? I think we're already on the map. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. But this, this story, if I'm honest, is like the most interesting thing that's come across my desk in a long time. Otherwise, you wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. trying to sneak into a, a rumored haunted hotel. Mm-hmm. Can, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, shoot. What do you think really happened to Sarah Havel? I mean, you don't think you interviewed a dead girl, right? You can't believe that. Let me answer that one for you some other time when, um, when the camera's not on me. Oh, I can turn it off. No. What? You missed this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's begun. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you think of uh, Brock Davies coming with us? I'm not thrilled by the idea. But wait, wait, wait. wait. How, is he, how does he even know that we're doing this? I, I, I mean, told him after the talk show that there was no way I was going to go back to the Abaddon. OK, it's Brock. He knows shit. But it's, it's, it's weird. A, it's his No, it's a bad idea is what it is. Okay, well, I told him that. I said, it's not. And? We don't want, guess what he said. Uh, Just if you're, this. yeah, if you're looking <laughs> for the secrets that only ghosts keep, you need Brock Davies. Of course. Look, what doesn't seem to be sinking in with you or Brock is that this is dangerous. The hotel is Look at me, the hotel is dangerous. We have to be in and out, we don't have time. We can't wait for Brock to be filming his newest reality show. I hear you, I, I agree, I told him that. Okay, but do you believe it? I have, I have to see things to believe them. Well, let's hope uh, that you'll still be a skeptic at the end of this. We're back. Okay, I said it was roofied. <laughs> you no, what? he was not. By Molly? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're doing shots. She's wow. taking advantage of you. We've um, moved on to shots, guys. That is, he got that's some shot. Terrifying. Camera's up. Got spare batteries? Absolutely. Cards? Plenty. Are they clean? They are free of adult content. All right, just keep the camera steady. Gotcha. All right, tough guy, what's the likelihood of us actually getting in the back? Well, that's the best way in. I know my way to everywhere from there. I'll break the door down before I look for an alternative. See, tough guy. Plus, nobody will be able to see us when we're in the back, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Molly, are you okay? I don't like going into any Halloween haunted houses, let alone ones that have been abandoned for seven years. Well, if you're uncomfortable right now, how are you gonna do inside? I'll, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll, I'll. Look, actually, Molly, we need someone out here to keep an eye on things. No, no, no I'm. I will be fine no. in there. I'm just, I'm just 
Yeah, but one of, us, know, one of us needs to do it. If the cops come, we need to know where they are, when they are. So it's, we need, we need you out here. Are, are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. We need someone. Yeah, else. but it's 8.15 and we gotta go because right. the next okay. shift is on its okay. way. Okay, so. if, you think, if you think it's best, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're on the walkies, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Look, we're gonna be fine, okay? Like, it's gonna be our tops. We're gonna steal us some Abaddon goodies. We're gonna shoot right back out here. Come on, man, let's move it. All right, I'm coming, bossy. Be careful. No dicking around, you understand? Completely agree. If I say drop whatever you're doing and head for the exit, you do exactly that. We're on the same page. Do you think that we're gonna have a problem? No, no, no. He's just saying that on like the off chance that something goes wrong. It's fine. We're in any kind of danger. You drop the camera and run. No, no, no. We're not a drop the camera and run group. We get everything. The camera never goes off. That is non-negotiable. Fine. You just remember your way out. This one. This is the door all the tour goers split out of. Uh, well, there's no lock. All right, so how do we get in now? Well, it depends on what kind of suit. Okay, I was not expecting that. It makes sense. Hi. We thought you were a no-show. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Ah, this is my cameraman and tech department all in one, Malcolm. Hey. Uh, sorry, what makes sense? The door being open. They knew we were coming. Okay, well, do you think this is safe? You know everything I know about this place. But the door being open doesn't change anything for me. I think it's a good sign. The hotel wants to be heard. It knows I can help. Let's go in. Okay. Do not stop rolling. You got it. Here we go. Don't forget the hotel wants to be heard. Shut up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Ms. Fox, we're going to record this conversation now, if that's OK. Can you tell us anything you remember of how you wound up walking along on the side of the road tonight? Do you remember anything from the last few days? Ms. Fox, you've been missing for five days now. Can you tell us anything about where you've been since last Sunday? <laughs> Miss Fox. <laughs> Brock, we're splitting up right here. The fastest way to the dining room is that way. The fastest way to the basement is that Got way. Got it. So. We're gonna go that way. Oh, and if you hear any noises, just ignore it. I have a feeling this hotel is going to be very responsive to us. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, um, good luck. Just don't fuck around, though. I still have no idea what happened to Diane. I think I'm gonna find that out while I'm here. This way. Good creek door. Good creek. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just watch your step in here, okay? Fuck, man. Goddamn mess. Yeah, well, they left in a rush. 
That's one way to put it. Yeah, just watch out. It's, um, it's dead there. Fuck. Ugh. Wait, what is that? It's, um, Latin, I think. What does it mean? Do you know? Porta means door, but I don't, I don't know. I don't remember that from the document. Dude, seriously, we're not going to talk about this? I mean, the big harbinger of doom. Wait, 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 wait. The fuck is that? Sarah? Alive for a haunted house company. Nothing about this tour seems especially spectacular. You kidding? I heard it was a killer hunt. Okay, seriously? How long have you been waiting to say that line? Had to wait to get it on camera. Oh, this is it. This is where it all went down. This is where Andrew Tully and his followers killed themselves. Isn't that right, Tully? This is where it happened? Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little unsettling. Were those there before? Uh, Brock, I, I don't think so. Then I guess we uh, should get to work on me. That's it. gonna go down there, huh? Yep. David, you go first. Your light's the best. You've gotta be shitting me right now. Really? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. I can do this. Just watch your step. That's awesome, guys. Thank you. Mm. Sacrificial lamb. That's, that's great. It smells like shit down here. Somewhere on the right, somewhere. could it be? I don't know. Maybe all this shit just belongs to Hell House, man. Why would they bring all this shit all the way from the city? You gotta keep your shit somewhere. Let's just get to work. Everybody just grab a box and start digging. All right. Don't stop filming. Just set the camera down somewhere. Mitchell, you should film too. Filming famous last words. The reason we've decided to commune here in the dining room is because this is where Tully's cult committed suicide en masse nearly 30 years ago. Usually the strongest source for spiritual energy is the last place the dead had contact with the living world. My planchette will help us get unanswered questions from any presence here left unseen. Andrew Tully, this is your house. We only want to ask questions. We are guests. Andrew Tully, are you here with us now? Mm. 
Not Tully. Are you a member of Tully's group, then, here at the hotel? Not a member of the cult, either. Are you a member of Hell House? Are you one of the people who've gone disappearing since the opening of this hotel? Spirit, are you lying to me? Spirit, do you have anything to do with the disappearance of Diane Graves, Jackson Mallet, or any of the people of Hell House? Whoa. Let's, let's settle down a little bit, Brock. Spirit, do you intend to do any harm to anyone here in the hotel? Spirit will... Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. We don't want anything. We are going right Brock, now. Let's get the fuck get out of go, here. Go, 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 go. Some hotel blueprints, maybe? Uh, some sketches? It could be important. The layout of the, of the place. All right. Ugh. Well, they definitely have rats. Were you guys aware that they have Holstein lobster and a whole range of items, but no nachos? Some people like real food, David. Nachos are real food, and I love them. You focus? I am focused on the nachos that I'm eventually going to put in my belly. All right, well, we'll get you some as soon as we leave. Awesome. Even more awesome, I found tapes. What? All right, Abaddon Hotel, from construction to completion. Look at that. that Tully made good. a documentary. That good. Yes. All right. All right. That's the keeper for sure. Okay. We got a tape too. This could be interesting. It says uh, it's labeled unaired commercial. Hmm. We'll take it. Take them all. I mean, if it looks remotely interesting, we should keep it. What the? What the fuck? Molly? What? Th that sounds like Molly. I think it was. Yo, Molly, is that you? Yeah, I'm upstairs. Wait, she's in. Why is she inside? Why are you inside when you're supposed to be outside? What? I am at the main entranceway. What the hell? Oh if she's at the main entranceway, just go get her and ask her what the hell she's doing. I get nominated again. Okay, if it's the cops, just tell her to cops. stay calm, lay low, it's fine. Cops, okay. All right, I'm leaving this Is here. Is that too hard? All right, Molly, I'm on my way. Okay, hold on to this in case okay. I need to get hold of you guys. Just... I just don't want to get shot. Just keep her where she is, okay? It's it's not a big deal, just fucking... You're not gonna get shot, David. Molly! Oh my god, you scared me! What, what's going on? Look, I'm sorry, but what are you doing in here? What are you talking about? Look, Jessica told you to stay outside, I not come know. in here. So why did you tell me to come inside the me? store? Yeah. I didn't tell you anything. You didn't radio me and tell me to come inside? Yeah, you did, David. No, I've been down in the basement digging through, like, tapes from 1986. I didn't tell you anything. I haven't even touched that until you called. You went on the radio and you said, hey, Molly, we could use some extra hands in here. Why don't you come inside and I'll open up the front door and meet you? It was you. Why are you screaming at me? This is not okay. Look, look, come, Molly. Stop, I'm not kidding. Why would you do this to me now? I'm this is I didn't Shit. do any of that. I wouldn't do that. Let, let me see. Let me, just Jesus. let me see this, okay? I'm gonna call. It's not funny. Hey, guys. Something very weird is going on here. 
Uh, David, are you there? Are you with Molly? What's, what's happening? Yeah, I'm with her. She said that I called her and told her to come in. What do you mean you called her? We told her to stay outside. David, listen, what door did she come in? She came in through the front door, the, the tour door. And the door she used, is it closed? Oh yeah, it's closed. Can you open it? No, it, it's locked now. I don't, I don't know. All right, we're coming up right now. Okay. Just grab whatever you can. We gotta go right now. Wait, what's happening? What's wrong? She wasn't supposed to be in here. Get it? Just go. Let's just go. We're just fine. move, move. Nothing's happening. Calm down, Mitchell. It's fine. Jessica, this was a mistake, okay? There's something definitely wrong about this. I don't understand. You just, you just need just, to calm down. Just think it's about fine. it. Think about it. Just how did you happen to get the evidence? Someone knew that it was gonna draw us here, and it did. It worked. Fuck. Let's go, let's go. Let's go right okay, now. Okay, okay, I'm moving. Ooh. Okay. Just forget about the rest. Let's just go. Can you just calm down a I second? I am, looked, I'm very calm, let's go. Yeah, right, okay. What's taking so long to be here, I promise. See? Oh, shit. Yeah, see? <laughs> Tight. Now, seriously, guys, who contacted her? Nobody oh, did. Exactly, that's why we gotta get out of here right now. We gotta go back the way we came. I wedged that open. Wait, what about Brock? Yeah, I kind of forgot Brock was here. Fine, we'll, we'll go that way. It goes to the dining room and then to the exit. Okay, calm down. Okay. okay? Jesus Christ. That one working? Fuck. Come on. Just, just calm down. Just, just keep going. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh, it's nasty. What? What? Shit. Is it Brock and Malcolm? What the fuck is that? This way is the Fuck. fastest way to the exit. Go. 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 Just go. go, okay? Just go. 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 Let's go. Where's the exit, man? Come on. Go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how did oh I get God. there? Fuck. How was that there? That was in the basement. That's our way out. We gotta go out that way. I'm not going near that fucking thing. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, we, 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 it's just a prop. How do we it get up here? It can't hurt us. It doesn't move. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. All right, no, we can't. Come, 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 right. guys. Move, 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 move back. Fuck! No! Fuck. No! Go, Molly, go! Go, Molly, come on! Fuck! What is that? Go, go, go! I don't understand. I don't want to be in here. Please, get it out come of on, here. Come on, Mitchell, come on. Mitchell! Come on. The, the door, man. There's no knob! What do you mean there's no fucking knob? There's no knob! All right, all right, all right, all right. Jessica, I got an idea. We break it down. Uh, with what? Uh, <laughs> with ourselves. Okay. Don't stop filming. We got this. Oh! oh. Fuck, that sucks. Yeah, I'm good. What is that? Fuck. Okay. What is that? Jazz, hand me the camera. Okay. 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 Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. That's a good idea. Jess, 
Jess, we have to go. Come on, we have to go. Go, go. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are these lights on? Power is supposed to be out. Just ignore them and just keep moving. Jesus. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Where the fuck are we going? Guys, 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 look. Look, we can't go up there. Why the fuck not? Because I saw your documentary. Where else is it to go? Look, this is the only way. Okay, okay, go, go, go. What? Is there something wrong with this room? Mitchell, Mitchell, are you okay? I have to go in there. No, nope. you can't. You can't go in there. No, 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 Mitchell, Mitchell, we have to get out of here. There's, uh, down there, there's a, there's a way to the balcony. Let's do that, then, okay? No. Come on, man. Okay. You're illuminating. No, 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 no. No, guys, come on. This is not okay. This is. This is. Fuck. Oh my fucking god! Oh, 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 oh fuck! Let's go in here! Let's go in here! Let's go in here! Go, 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 go! David! Go, go, go. go quick! Let's go in here! There's no lock! There's no lock! Here, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold shit! Hold shit! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Mitchell, you knew something was wrong when you fucking heard Molly on the radio. What is going on? <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Alex Taylor, who's become a controversial figure since the release of the documentary and even before. Officials from Rockland County and Abaddon say that he was never given permission to use the hotel. We didn't. You know, I remember several instances where Alex met with my colleagues and they cautioned him away from the hotel, gave him other options. They cautioned him against or denied him access outright? Well, legally speaking, I don't think they were allowed to forbid him from using the hotel, so no. Brock, from what you've seen, have you been able to draw any conclusions of your own? Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, Alex has a certain personality trait that's common among people who start with nothing and create, build their own businesses. They are willing to take risks, they gamble. And when they lose those gambles, um, they are willing to double down and compound their risks. Things can spiral out of control. For Alex, things were definitely spiraling out of control. You could make the argument that Hell House was not doing well financially and nobody else in the house really knew about that. Well, maybe Mac, but I think something darker was at play here, something more nefarious. Something was driving him, something compelling him down a path toward his demise. Well, that still doesn't explain why he chose the hotel out of all the other possible options available to him. I have a theory. I believe, I believe he was contacted by the hotel. How do you mean? The hotel's been closed for... <laughs> no, I don't mean someone from the front desk called him to confirm a reservation. I believe there's something within the hotel that orchestrates events. A chain of events that plays out like almost like dominoes, cause and effect. What's the effect? Whatever happened on October 8th, 2009, it was set in motion long before that night. The leaked transcript. How did you receive it? Um, I got it in the mail. Any idea where it came from? No, it was anonymous. Exactly. So, so you get an anonymous tip, and you contact me, and then, and then off. Uh, 
we get your crew leader, and then within a few days, we're all trapped in here. Don't you see? So it was. So you thought this was all manipulation? Then why didn't you let us? I didn't. No, no, I. I, look, I honestly didn't th this. No, I honestly didn't think that, that we were being baited until I heard Molly on the radio, okay? Why would I even go in the hotel if I know it was being baited? Okay, I... okay, okay, we cannot, Fuck. we cannot stay here. Mitchell, we need to go, we need to make a run for it. We're Did you not ducks. see the same thing I saw out there? Check, check your phone again. There's no problem. Just try. I'm trying, I tried a million times. Okay. There's no goddamn coverage, okay? I have nothing, okay? Look, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's no, nothing, nothing. There's nothing, there's nothing, okay? Wait, wait. What about, the, what about the walkie? Why don't we try a different channel? We didn't try that yet. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe someone's gonna get it to Okay, okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I tried. Okay, this is a different channel. Hello? Can anyone hear us? Hello? Fuck, okay. Can anyone hear us? Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Hello? We're, we're, we're stuck in the Abaddon Hotel. Can you please help us, please? Yes, we have you checked in. October 8th. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, uh, guys, you're gonna wanna check this out. <sighs> Like, I've been digging through all these, like, old, crusty-ass Hi8 tapes, and then I come across a couple of these nice, shiny new mini-DV tapes, and on one of them, you're not gonna believe who pops up. Like, seriously, get, get over here. Get over here. All right. Boom, let me freeze frame it. What the, what that... the fuck is he doing on this tape? Wait, is, right. wait could, could their tapes have gotten mixed up with Tully's? No, 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 no. These are from the tapes that we found in the basement, okay? There is literally no one else from Hell House what, on these tapes. What are they saying? Have you listened? They're having some kind of meeting. I, I can't really wait, tell who, you. who was meeting who? Uh, Alex. Ed? And then uh, someone else that I haven't even seen yet. Like, okay, look at the hard-coded date. That's April, okay? That's six months uh, before the fucking tragedy. Alex, uh, he, six months. He'd always given the impression that he, that he had never right. been there before. Right. Like, what the fuck? We have to watch Let's play this. It, play it. All right, all right, all right. And hold on to your butts. So where the fuck have you been, huh? I've been calling you for weeks. Does he go to voicemail? I can sue you, you know. You knew it was high risk. I told you something like this could happen. It was bad luck. Bad luck? No, 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 no. I lost a fortune on that, okay? What the fuck am I supposed to do now? What are you supposed to do? I don't know, Alex. Take some responsibility. No, 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 no. You, you reached out to me, okay? You called me. Why did you do that? Were you trying to scam me from the beginning? You're obviously business savvy. Hell House is a huge success in a highly successful Halloween market like New York. Yeah, it was. It was. What do you mean, Lars? You stuck out the business. Alex, you didn't. You invested the company's money and not your own. Oh, wow, how did I have you pegged so long? That's some tough explaining to your pal, Mac. Say, Alex, where did all our money go? Well, Mac, it's gone, but on a brighter note, Rockland County is really lovely this time of year. Wish I could be a fly on the wall for that. Relax, Alex. I think I might be able to help you. How? What do you think of this place? This hotel? It's a dump. Well, sure. It hasn't had guests in a few decades, but what do you think about it? I don't know. It's kind of freaky. Easy to get lost. I mean, who makes it that hard to find a dining room? Fun, right? It's been in my possession for a very long time, and I've been looking to do something to put it back on the map. Something like what? An attraction of some kind. A haunted house, perhaps? You could help me give this hotel a second life. in here? Molly, no, no, no.
Just stay calm. We are gonna figure this out and then we're gonna get out of here. I promise you. Okay. I didn't think. I didn't know. There was so much blood. Whose blood? Where did you see the blood? His blood. Her blood. My blood. They, they laughed and laughed and, and laughed and... Do you know, in the Bible, they call it the Lake of Fire. Can you tell us who you were with? Where have you been the last few days? Just conserve your energy. So what? What's the plan? I mean, we have to make a run for it. Eventually, I mean, we have to. I mean, didn't you say there was a balcony? Yes, yes, there is a, bank, a balcony. I saw it on the then tapes. That's where we have to go. Yes, eventually, just not right now. You saw what's out there. Fine. If we get out of here, I want a vacation. A whole week where you don't get to call, text, or email me. And I could just sit on the couch and binge watch so you think you can dance. Is that a deal? Yeah, it's, it's a deal. David. Damn it. I can't. Okay. Where are you, David? David. I'm over here by the camera. Turn light. Okay. Just crawl towards the sound. What's with it? No. Okay. It? okay, okay, okay. I told you, I told you. What's wrong with There's it? There's nothing this camera can do that I can't fix. Come okay. on. I'm working on this and. Oh, come on. Boom, boom. Got it, got it. See? Sorry, I'm what sorry, did I'm I tell sorry. You? Got it. See, I told you. Okay. It's a little mm -hmm. fucked up from the <gasps> what? what the fuck? What? Why is the door open? More importantly, where the fuck is Molly? Molly, she wouldn't just Molly, get up and walk. Where is no, she? Out. She wouldn't get out of this room by herself. No. Molly, stop! Hey, stop. Molly, come on! Stop! 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 All right, Dick. All right, all right. All right. Listen, I'm chill. We'll go get her. I'm we'll go get her. Go get her. Jessica, tell him I'm chill. Okay, he's chill. He's okay. Fine, you're chill. You're chill. I get it. He's okay. Okay, calm down. What is that? I wasn't here before. Mitchell? What is it? Jessica, what does it say? Um, it says, um, lovely Molly's in the basement with her friends. This basement, the basement here? No, 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 here? that's what it says! No, come on! No, 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 no stop, me. David, Cut. stop it! Listen. I just She's want okay. to get her back. Okay, we know. We all want her back. Just be calm. I promise you we'll go get her. Would just you promise me. Just don't. Mitchell. I promise. I promise. Just don't be stupid about this, okay? I'll go first. Right. And Jessica, you go next, okay. and then right. and then you get our backs, okay? Okay, we're gonna get her. Okay, just we have to go. Let's go. Slowly. Come on. Slowly. Shh. Be quiet. Let's go into the basement. Let's go into the basement. Go to the fucking basement. Watch your head, Chase. Okay.
It's clear. Let's go. Where are you? Where are you? It's clear. Stay close. Stay close. What the fuck? Let's go. How are these lights working? What? Oh, what? Keep it together. Just keep it together. Oh, fuck. No, we have to go and get her. We have to go get her now. Just, just be careful. You don't know what the okay. fuck is in. Okay, okay. Just take it slow. Just take it slow. Okay, I got your back. We'll take it slow. All right. All right. Jess. Yes. I just, I just take the camera. Okay. Okay. Go slow. I got your back, but go slow. Molly. Molly. Easy. No sudden moves. Fuck, somebody's coming. Molly. Mitchell. Mitchell, hurry. Molly. I need you to get Hurry, up hurry, it's coming. On the phone right now, Jessica Fox, editor of the new and controversial website, The Inside. She'd like to weigh in on the topic of the Abaddon Hotel. Jessica, you're on air. Go ahead. Hi, Susie. Thanks for this opportunity. I want to start by saying that I'm really whoa, whoa, happy whoa, whoa, to be here. Wait a minute. Uh, Jessica Fox, you're the one that's been writing about the hotel recently, right? Saying how you know for a fact that Tully was some kind of boogeyman and that the town has been complicit in some ways. This is why people laugh at internet blogs. It lies under the guise of journalism. It's fake news. You had the chance to be the next BuzzFeed, but instead you're chasing ghost stories and it's going to be your funeral because there's nothing there. I have physical there. proof of Tully's involvement in the disappearance of his guest, the town's involvement in the subsequent cover-up, and the link to Hell House. Then why aren't you typing away in your Brooklyn studio apartment instead of calling in here? By all means, break the case wide open. I intend to do just that. 
If you're on the town's payroll, I would resign right now if I were you. Things are going to get very messy for that little town. But what is the purpose of this call, really? If you had proof, you wouldn't be calling here with empty, vague threats. Jessica, do you have proof? Do you plan on revealing it? Mitchell, if you want to know what happened to Diane, then come and find me. Um, I'm not sure what she was alluding to, but apparently she knows where Diane is. This is what we run into in our town, Susie. We have limited resources, but we have to spend money that we don't have guarding the hotel, defending ourselves from slander, from Mitchell here on the internet, crazy Ms. Fox. <laughs> I don't know, Mom. It just, you know, it feels like Alex is just, you know, keeping something from us. Yeah, I know. Once we get through opening night, it'll all it'll be downhill from there. No, Mom, I already told you. I'm dead already. But you can stay home. And Mitchell's coming with us. Look, we can talk about this for days on end. The only thing I can assure the audience is that I did nothing to alter those tapes. I think that the hotel is very dangerous and everyone should stay away from it. It's not a joke. Okay, this is real. This is real. Do you intend to stay away from the hotel? I do. Even though I, I, I want to know what happened just as much as anyone else, probably more. Because of Diane? Yeah. Yeah, because of Diane. But also, because of the genuine curiosity that got me into documentary filmmaking in the first place. But I have no intention of ever entering the Abaddon. Thank you, Mitchell. You set a fine example by saying that. Well, I think we'll end on that positive note and some agreement. Thank you to my panel for the lively debate, and thank you for watching the show. Next week, we'll continue to focus on the Abaddon Hotel, and I'll be interviewing wealthy tech entrepreneur Russell Wynn, who claims he's been receiving anonymous packages containing unseen video from the Abaddon Hotel, and he's been quietly putting it all together. And we'll hear about that and his plans to relocate his popular site-specific play, Insomnia. And we're clear. Hey man, you serious about that?
So what? About not going back to the hotel. Uh, I, I think so. Why? Because I know you're lying to my face. You're going back. And if you're trying to get to the secrets that only ghosts keep, you need Brock Davies. I'm never going to set foot there, Brock. You should stay away as well. Monica, can we redo the intro? I felt like some of it was a bit stale, and I want to change some of the lines in the beginning. We just got a call from Arnold Tasselman. Yeah, he just left. What did he forget? That's the weird thing. He called to apologize that he missed the interview. He said he was in a minor accident on the way here, and he's sorry that he missed it. He couldn't call until now. What do you mean he missed the show? I just interviewed him. I know. It sounded just like him. He said for the last two hours he's been dealing with the police and the insurance and this woman that he hit and... The fucking same Arnold Tasselman who was just in the studio 30 seconds ago. Mitchell! Leave him be. What the fuck are you doing here? You're having trouble putting this together? No, 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 this can't be. You're... I'm what, Mitchell? You dead. You dead. For a long time now. Pick up the camera. Pick up the goddamn camera. Nice to meet you. I'm Andrew Tully, and you are a guest in my hotel. A permanent guest like my friends here? We'll see. Oh, have you ever met the Hell House Brain Trust? This here is Mac. His friendship to Alex doomed him long before they ever opened Hell House. We almost lost Tony if it weren't for Mac here, spilling the beans at just the right moment. And this is the most important piece of my domino set. Alex Taylor. I was surprised how easily you were manipulated by me. Almost as easy as Alex, right on television. All I ever wanted was for more guests. Be my guest, be my guest. And you all came, just like Alex, just like Diane. Don't you dare drop that camera! Now, I have to warn you, this is going to be very difficult for you, and you are going to have to make some tough decisions on how we keep the dominoes falling and our hotel open. Oh, you were under the impression that we closed the hotel. The hotel has never been fucking closed! When we died here 30 years ago, that was just our grand relaunch! Alex here, well, he thought he was opening up Hill House in an abandoned hotel. Well, we never left. The hotel has always been occupied. Our lake of fire that we have chosen to enter, not been cast away to, like your Bible would say. That's right, Mitchell. I found the gateway, and it's glorious. Play us a song. <laughs> No! 
no, 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 no. We're not done here. Mitchell, you have more to do before you can give up. There are choices to make. Will someone help him with that damn camera? Mitchell? Mitchell, tell me who leaves here today. In order to keep the dominoes falling, one of you will get to leave. Now, who is it going to be? We thought that you wouldn't be too eager to choose, so I'll take someone out of the running quickly. We are Legion. We are servants of the snake, and we will release someone into the lake of fire. No. 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 Oh, they chose lovely Molly. Oh, we definitely won her. The perpetually scared make for the best guest. Please stop. It won't stop. It never stops. We go on and on into eternity. Now, Mitchell! Pick who gets to walk out of my front door. It's not my choice. I already made my choices. I know what comes next. And it begins with what happens in this room right now. Much later, way down the road, someone will come to this hotel, just like Alex did, and try to open it up again. I know this already. Just like I knew that Jessica would come with one anonymous package. I have been sending this unfortunate person videos, including this one here. I see it now, Mitchell. It's gonna be bigger than Hell House. More souls for our lake of fire. That series of dominoes begins. Now. Ma'am, if you don't tell us anything, we won't be able to find the people who did this to you and the people you were with. Can you give us any nearby landmarks where this happened? Was it near a park? A restaurant? Do you remember a road name? Yeah? Okay. I'll be right there. We're going to need to call someone. The Abaddon. What? The Abaddon Hotel. 
That's where I was. You should go there. What are you doing? What is this? I'm protecting myself. I want this recorded for insurance. You mean for blackmail? Blackmail? No, Alex. I want it on the record that I had nothing to do with this. So you're looking out for yourself. I get it. Um, is it on? Yeah. Great. Mac had nothing to do with this. Just tell me what happened. Dude, it's fine. We have a way out now, okay? A way out? Yeah. Alex, you lost everything. How the hell do we have a way out? Have you ever been to Rockland County? A little town called Avedon, just north of the GW, right along the Hudson. No. Why would I have ever been there? Because there's a hotel there called the Avedon Hotel, and it's completely vacant. And? What, do you want to start a bed and breakfast? No, Mac, that's where Hell House is going to get its second life. Look, the rest of them are gonna be here any minute, okay? I just need you to promise me you won't tell them anything about what happened. Nobody can know why we're leaving the city. All right, we go to Rockland County, we do our haunt there, and if we're successful, we'll be back in New York next Halloween. Have you even looked at the contract? Yes, I've looked at the contract. I feel like you probably got us into something we're never gonna get out of. Would you just trust me, Mac? This hotel's gonna be perfect for us. I just need you to back me up, all right? They're here. Dude, just, I'm, hey. hey, I'm serious. Back me up, okay? Just do this for me. Hey. hey. What's up?